You want the answer? Yeah, go ahead. My answer would be this, and I think this is something that we should have been discussing already. Excellent. We believe that we don't know anything about God okay. apart from God's own voluntary revelation of himself. Excellent. So we are all beholden to him. Right? Okay. We are dependent on him for life and breath as well as anything we know about him. Right. And anything we know about him that's true is what he's told us. Anything we think we know independently of that is not something we can know to be true. Now, so what I'm getting at is in the Bible, God revealed himself through the prophets and prepared. So listen to that, that first of all, you have right from the beginning. OK, you have when we start talking about the incarnation, because that's what the subject matter is, you have. Anthony Rogers explicitly say that we do not know anything about God apart from revelation. Well, as Muslims, we don't make this claim. And I don't know if Rogers was just, you know, speaking off the top of his head, but honestly, I'm not going to give him that much. Um, I'm not going to give him that much uh, respect in that regard. Cause I think he actually kind of meant this. We don't know anything about God apart from revelation. Well, what does that say about natural theology, um, Mr. Rogers? Do you completely reject natural theology? Can we logically and from a rational or philosophical perspective deduce that God exists? Or are you a complete presuppositionalist? Um, can we know that God exists? Can we know something about God? Uh, I think, and he would admit this, that we couldn't possibly deduce the Trinity purely from a philosophical perspective. If he says yes, and he's refuting his own statement, because that's something we could know about God apart from revelation. Um, or maybe he means revelation in a broader sense to include God's natural revelation. So you have general revelation. Sometimes people call it in specific revelation. Well, Here's the thing, Anthony, if if we know certain things about God through general revelation, then which is basically revelation that's available to all of mankind, things that we can experience in ourselves and in nature. Um, and then you have specific revelation, which is basically a specific scripture or holy text or, you know, the prophet speaking, uh, you know, telling us what God's plan is, salvation, who he is, etc. Um, if he means in, in a sense of specific revelation that we can only know about God through something like the Bible and we can't know anything apart from that about God, well, then that's just ridiculous because we can deduce uh, from a rational perspective that God exists through creation, that there's a creator, that there's a designer to the universe, these type of things, that uh, God's oneness. There's several different things that we can rationally deduce. And then the text of scripture gives us more. But that additional information that the text of scripture gives can never and should never conflict with natural theology or natural uh, or general revelation. So I was a bit surprised he didn't really qualify that statement. Um, if he meant and he was including general revelation within that, well, then, OK, yeah, like people just don't make up their own stuff. Right. God has this general revelation and he's got specific revelation. Um, but one of the big problems for the Trinity is, is that it doesn't seem to be available to general revelation. It seems only to be specific revelation. And one question to think about, this is just a sidebar, something I brought up before, but should God be intuitive in the sense that apart from specific revelation, my intuition is that we should be able to deduce that God exists. And if that God exists, we should be able to know the fundamental basics about him. Now, it seems amazing to me that God would be this one God that exists amongst three persons. And yet he didn't make that rationally accessible to us apart from specific revelation, like in a holy scripture. Um, I find that very strange. Like a man living on an island somewhere would never come up with this idea of a trinity, wouldn't know anything about it. So I don't know how he would really be held accountable uh, for such a thing.